Okay, so the, you got all these Fortune 500 companies, people all around the world coming here, but like, why are they coming to online jobs, PH? Why, you know, the Philippines, you know, what, what is, uh, why, why should people, if, why are people even coming here versus, I mean, there's lots of other places to find employees and, you know. Okay, so this goes back to two things that I kind of, I mean, I had no idea about when I started this, but so one, the Philippines, and it's super, super different than anywhere else in the world. Two, okay, so this one's harder to explain, but it's it's the most important piece of this, probably for everybody listening. Whoops. Whoa. All right. We'll, we'll put Whoa. our listening hat on. So, <laughs> so here's what I found. Um, I had hired people on, on Odesk, which, or Elance, which then became Odesk and Elance together into Upwork. And I hired these people as project workers and they did a project for me and then I paid them and then they were gone. And, and then I had to go back and check their work and I found there's problems with it and was like, hey, dude, what? Oh, you're already gone? Like you're, you don't have time to fix my crap anymore because you're already working for someone else? And that bugged me. Like I, I wanted to turn over an entire system to someone where they would, this was, this was how, what I considered automation. Someone would do the entire process for me and they would do it like a human doing it, not a computer. Like, let's talk about writing an article. You write an article, you can have a, a computer write an article for you, but it sucks. Or you can have a human write an article and do a good job with it and then take that article and, well, before that, do the keyword research on the article, write the article and submit the article to the places where it should go with links and headers and all, all this stuff, right? And then a computer doesn't know you did that, but a person knows, oh, I did this one, now I'm gonna do this other one, or I'm gonna link it to this one. And this just builds this giant SEO thing for you, right? I was ranked number one on Google for like car insurance. And wow, whoa, that's a expensive- Wrinkle thing. cream. Yeah, so that website that I told you about was, I told you 10 to $15,000 a month, because it was, but then it got up to like 45 and $50,000 a month. And it was, it was crazy, right? Because, dude, I, I had these people that were doing the full process, right? So. The biggest difference that I didn't realize was I hired this guy full-time, not project-based, where his full-time job was to do anything I asked him to do. And that meant over time, he was learning more and more because I could teach him more and more. And everything I taught him would build upon something else. And so he was making connections in his mind of like, oh yeah, we did this and now I do this. So I'll tell you a quick story. One time, one time uh, I asked him to do article marketing for me and I taught him how to do this. And, and I know it's super effective. And so I let him go and after a couple months, he, I wasn't hearing anything about it. I was hearing daily reports about stuff, but not about this. So like six months in, I asked him, hey, what's going on with article marketing? Our website's doing super well, are you still doing it? He says, yes, sir. But after I did it a couple times the way you told me to do it, I realized these other things from what you had taught me. So I went and did some research on my own and I found out that if I do it like this and like this instead of what you said, and if I do it this often, instead of how often you told me to do it and use these other websites that you didn't tell me to use, it's way more effective. I hope that's okay with you, sir. So a curious, intuitive person, that is, that is gold. Yeah, yeah, right. And so, but that's like, the difference between that, okay, that's half the difference between hiring contract work or project based versus full time, right? So the other, the other, the other part of that is hourly. People want to hire hourly, right? Hourly versus a full time salaried person. I had him salaried, and this is where this this is the difference between fifty hours a week and four hours a week, and it doesn't happen all at once. But here's here's what happens. You hire a project-based person or an hourly person and you give them something to do and they finish and you're paying them hourly, you don't care. You don't care if they finished and if they're not busy, you don't care because that's not your responsibility. Whereas if you hire them salaried and they finish and they're not busy, even if it's only costing you $2 an hour, there's some responsibility there on your part to keep that person busy. And so now, I've got to I've got to come up with something because I know they're going to finish this task. So I've got to do something to, like, give him to do, and that do something is, is building my business. And now this this tiny little thing that I had no clue about just forced me from doing this. I'll show you this. There's my keyboard, like. 
right? Like I got to, I got to answer this email from doing that to like, well, wait a minute. I got to work on my business now. I have to come up with something for him to do. And that was the biggest change was, was hiring, going from trying to hire hourly people or contract based people or project based people to full-time people. This is your full-time job and you work for me and only for me. And it's my responsibility to keep you busy. I'm now the CEO of the business instead of being like, uh, I'm, I'm a project manager and I'm a grunt worker. And that, that made all the difference right there. Mm. So what, just quickly while we're on that topic, what are your thoughts on having salaried versus hours? So if they, they could both be full time, but is there, have you seen any learnings around that? Hours meaning. So like, like you, okay, I, we're, we're going to pay you like log your hours and do 40 hours a week. Or like you could like work from 30 to 50 hours a week or uh, here, here's your salary. It, it assumes 40 hours a week. You know, like, have you seen any difference in how no, that affects motivation? We, we kind of do both. We, we say, I don't, I don't try, we can get into this later, but I don't track any time, but I tell them, I expect you to work 40 hours a week, but also I'm going to pay you this set amount every month, no matter what. So you can log 30 hours, you can log 50 hours. And sometimes you're going to do both. You know, sometimes you're going to fluctuate and, but I'm going to pay you the same amount every, always. So, but that is different than, Hey, I expect you to work 40 hours a week. Here's your hourly salary. I'm going to, oh, you only work 38? Well, 38 times this hourly, that's different, right? Because then if they only work 25, you're like, oh, here's 25 times $2, right? And now you don't care if they're not busy. Mm, okay, yeah, because there's not that incremental. Okay, so that also helps with your motivation to like, okay, well, hey, like, in the, I'm paying this much. and So that's that's like, that's the big difference between staying where you are and becoming the CEO is, is that hourly versus full-time salary. Mm, okay. Interesting.